London is the musical capital of the world. There's more going on here than anywhere else. And there is some extraordinary talent. I'm Ilona Domnic, an opera and concert singer. From the moment she came in, I thought, this is a very interesting person and a very beautiful voice. And that voice has just got richer and richer and better and better. Ilona is a perfect example of an opera singer. She is always fun. She's always larger than life. You know, she's a great, great person to have around. A couple of years ago, she said, I'd really like to make a recording and I wonder whether I could do that with South Bank Symphonia. So first of all, Ilona and I work on it together, just the two of us, I play for her at the piano, and we work out how we think the music should be. Then we performed it, we performed it at Wooden House, we performed it in Angiari, and then we started working with the orchestra. The uniqueness of South Bank is this cohesion, um, sort of really learning what your colleagues are like. So sort of you'll know how they play and you can really fit into their sound. It's brilliant. It's just the best thing you could be doing. Play with such a great group of people and play great music. There is nothing quite like South Bank Symphonia. And of course, when you put together 32 players at this point in their career, they're so full of energy, so full of enthusiasm. So this is a very happy coming together of artistic minds, all of the players and Ilona's. My inspiration for the CD is Persephone, the goddess of the underworld. Her story is a complex Greek myth of abduction into the underworld. But I think in the modern sense, she has to access the ruins of her female underworld in order to find the inner balance between the darkness and the light. She is no longer robbed of innocence, and yet she is awakened to the complexity of life to the circle of life and death. And once she's out of the underworld, she's definitely no longer tame. <laughs> I'm going to call my CD Surrender. I really like the word surrender. It's got very dynamic rendering force about it. And I have an image of someone who is climbing a mountain and he has got to surrender himself to the nature. And in order to progress, he has to listen to his instincts, to his body, to his inner voice, and completely, fully be connected to himself. So on one hand, I have the story of Persephone, on the other, the theme of surrender, and through the merging of two of them, I investigate the universal story of womanhood. And I decided to illustrate them with great operatic heroines from the Italian bel canto and French opera, simply because opera teaches us about the deepest aspects of human soul, and all my operatic heroines have the boundless endurance in them. We have come to know Ilona as a very deep thinker and a very deep person, which we feel is extremely important because her voice is not just her instrument. Her voice represents her soul and that is very important and very evident in what she brings to opera. 
Hans Morel was a Jewish Dutchman and he left his whole estate for this foundation. And we met the trustees and they'd heard South Bank Symphonia, they heard Ilona, and they were very happy to support this project. We are currently supporting her latest CD production, which will be a shining example of what the foundation can do for young professionals in order to achieve the next levels in their career. So it's wonderful to be working in this beautiful space. It's a great acoustic, a very nice environment. And when I came to look round, uh, it struck me that there was a big enough space for a 50-piece orchestra quite comfortably, and the acoustic would be able to cope very easily with the various demands. The voice is coming over really well. Her control is, is superb, and she, her stamina is amazing too. She can sing all day and doesn't seem to get in, you know, there's no degradation in the quality of her sound. She taps into her emotions very easily, and that is the X factor. It exists in opera and classical music as well as on the screen, and it just touches you right there, immediately. When the red light comes on, we're all connected by some invisible thread, all wanting to produce the best music. Ilona wanted to do the duets from Rigoletto because that allows for her to sing some of the best music in the opera. We had the Italian baritone Leonucci to sing the duets together. He brought such beautiful Verdi fire into the room and we all had fantastic time. I absolutely loved the recording. It was an incredible experience. At times it was intoxicating and heavenly because we had beautiful harmony with the orchestra and the conductor. But at times it was tough and quite intense. There were a lot of emotions when we were recording the tragic heroine from La Voix Humaine by Poulenc. I really adore working with Ilona and when she's singing at her best it's the most thrilling thing, it's the most privileged thing imaginable to be conducting with this beautiful, exquisite burnished bronze one moment, bright silver another moment, sound. My impression is that she is a star because she's already got everything, she's got she's this wonderful voice, fully trained. She has a great stage presence, she's a very fine actress. We have no doubt that she will reach the highest level in her profession. Not only because she is extremely talented, but also because she has a vision and is very driven. Given the chances, the talent is absolutely without any doubt it's there. She should have a big career. She should be a big star. Let's watch and see. This CD has the hearts, the generosity, the love, the light of so many people to whom I'm hugely grateful. And I know that it would all shine through the music. <laughs>